Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Let's Talk Elvis. Okay, so today a little bit of a different video but very very highly requested today we're going to be talking memorabilia elvis memorabilia um i'm gonna give you guys a little like look into my collection show you some of the new pieces i've got over the years because i haven't done one of these videos since like oh my gosh like maybe 2021 i think was the last time and the only time that um i showed you guys like a little insight into my collection and since then it's grown a good deal um so i thought i would show you guys um some of the pieces that i have now definitely not everything but just a couple of like my new fave things and some of the pieces i also got oh this week this year because i've gotten so many questions asking to show what i picked up um in memphis this past year so let's just get right into it so my first little like corner of memorabilia in my room um is right here uh, I kind of have things set up like on top of this dresser and then I just added these like floating shelves over um, the summer. I got this last year, um, 2022 at Elvis Week and I am obsessed with it. Um, it's my very first I like Elvis button. Um, the condition is beautiful on this one. Uh, like, oh my gosh, that's actually that's stunning um but I've always wanted an I like Elvis pin and I got this one um from John Daly at uh his festival and he saved it for me and I picked it up and I love it um like I said it's beautiful and there's a picture of a girl wearing this exact button and Elvis is like touching it looking at it and I just really like this variation this is the only like I like button variation that I have but I'm obsessed all right, keeping on theme with the buttons, I also got this button last year and this is really, really cool to me. So I have the picture for it. I have like a little setup for it back there with the picture of Elvis and her name is also Mary, that little girl uh, who did the March of Dimes shoot with him at Graceland. But I have one of the buttons. Um, Again, like it looks so beautiful. It's gorgeous. I've never, I didn't even know that they like I didn't know that you could like get these still it wasn't anything that I had on my bucket list or wanted to buy for a while um but I saw one and I was like that's so cool to me so I got this as well and I have it little like little setup over there um but I love it this is something that I find so cool um it sounds morbid but I'm really into collecting like memorabilia from the funeral and not because I'm like obsessed with the funeral or think it's really cool or whatever but I just think that's like a really interesting part of Elvis history that doesn't really get a lot of attention but this card um says in loving memory and then it has a lady's name and address on it she said it's actually from Pennsylvania which is where I'm from um but this card would have came with like a bouquet of flowers that was sent to the house um when he died um and I just think that that's really really neat really special for sure and I would love to collect like more funeral memorabilia I know they have buttons um that people wore I don't know where like at the funeral or like something I don't know why you'd wear a button to the funeral I might have that wrong but there are buttons from the funeral um that say Forest Hill or something I don't know but those are really cool super rare though but I would love to have one of those um maybe like a flower that was placed there I know like those go for a lot of money too but um, I think a little bit more achievable than the buttons. I've never seen one of the buttons, but this is one of the little flower cards and definitely one of my favorite pieces that I have. Okay, this is like one of my new favorite pieces that I got. I got it this past Elvis week, Elvis week 23. Um, but for those of you who don't know, the 60 Day Special is my favorite Elvis show for a lot of reasons, just like special to me. I love the 68. So when I saw this, I was like, that's actually the coolest thing I've ever seen. So it's a little like singer presents elvis tv special pamphlet um and i remember like steve having a picture of this in his book and i just got his book for christmas um last year but when i saw this i was like girl i have to have it like i believe this is the picture in steve's book it's opened up like this but it just has like all of the like girl that is so sick i that's awesome but it has like all of the radio programs and stuff where you could listen to the special on the radio um and i've actually found a couple in here that are like close to me 
um, where I live and I just thought that was so cool. I was looking through it with my mom and she found like a couple Pennsylvania like radio stations that were like, oh, we know where that is. Um, so I just thought that was really cool. Another cool thing about this is that it has ads for like his upcoming movies. So it's got a Charo ad in it, which is super cool. And I also think it has a little, little, yes, it has a little, little, love a little ad in it. That's so cool. I'm obsessed with this. It's really, really clean, really, really nice. And yeah, I have it sitting right up on one of those shelves. So new baby alert. I'm obsessed with this. I'm going to move on from this area and show you guys some other stuff over on this side of my room. So let's switch locations. Okay, so you guys never get this view. This is so weird to be standing and like making a video. But this is like the back wall of my room. Um, my bed is right here. And I recently redid it to um, display a lot of memorabilia that I had tucked away in top loaders and like laminated sheets and things like that stuffed away in binders because I didn't have any room to like put them out and display them. Um, but I really wanted to after this Elvis week put out a lot of my paper stuff because I have a lot of really cool stuff and I wanted to display it. Um, so I took like all of the pictures, the magazine pictures off my walls and I replaced it with like really nice cool all this memorabilia so i'm gonna show you guys some of it and um hopefully you'll think it's as cool as i think it is okay starting off we have this like commercial appeal um laminated like newspaper article it just talks about elvis and like his recent years so it goes from like elvis at 21 22 and 23 talks about like um, his fashion, like his time in the army, um, a little bit about the colonel, his like up to date movie roles. It has Wild in the Country on it, which I think is so cool. Um, just like this is what's going on in the life of Elvis right now. And it is um, Monday morning, June 22nd of 1964. Above it, I have a 56 publicity picture. And then I have another one right there that I framed and put up, which I was really excited about because I had also those in binders and I was like, I want to frame them and display them and now they're up. At the top of my shelf, I have two Nick Adams pieces that I'm obsessed with. So I found this this past Elvis week. It's a Nick Adams, um, it's not a Nick Adams, it's an Elvis magazine. Um, the magazine 16, I've never even heard of it, um, but it talks about Nick Adams at the very top and how uh, he knew Elvis and like the book he's writing and things like that, um, which is super cool. I love Nick Adams. He's buried really close to me and um, his book is one of my favorites. I'm just like a Nick Adams stan. So right next to it, I have a letter that Nick Adams sent to the drama editor of the New Yorker magazine in 1958. I think it says up there or 56. I can't tell. 56 or 58 um but that is like the original copy that nick sent one of my favorite pieces as well we have a few little movie things here we have a drive-in um little pamphlet thing for uh wild in the country this is also wild in the country it's just framed in there but wild in the country is in there a uh, little wild in the country elvis monthly vintage magazine um we've got a jailhouse rock ad from a newspaper and this is like one of my favorite things that probably nobody's gonna care about but me but uh the children's hour is one of my favorite movies i found this at a festival once and it's like an ad for the children's hour but it shares an announcement for follow that dream at the bottom of it so elvis and the children's hour on the same thing and i thought that was so cool so i have that framed and displayed and i love it down here i have my memphian ticket which i bought this past elvis week when i toured the memphian if you come up here i have my little donna lewis section i love donna i always talk about her um i got this like newspaper article um talking about her like right after he died down here it says november 1977 so she um i think was interviewed for this and I think her her family is also talked about a lot in here. This is a picture of her and her mom and her dad in their house, I'm pretty sure. Her dad worked um, at Circle G and at Graceland and all that stuff. So I had to frame and display this finally. And I have um, a picture of her that she signed for me and just like a the back of one of the pictures that she signed for me framed as well because I love her so much. So my little Donna Lewis section. Okay, this is a little bit of like a weird angle position but I wanted to show you guys my little wild in the country section of my wall because uh, I've acquired some new wild in the country pieces if you didn't know wild in the country is my favorite movie 
I'm obsessed with it and I've recently um, just kept adding to my collection and now I have a few more pieces. My big uh, one sheet poster was my very first piece of Elvis memorabilia that I ever collected. Um, I talk about it all the time. You can't see it because my lamp's in the way, but let me show you guys. She's beautiful. I'm obsessed with her and she'll always be my baby for real because this was my first piece that I ever got. Um, it's just like so clean and beautiful. It's perfect. And then I also added these like little promo, uh, pictures. There's that one up there. Um, there's the still him and Tuesday. This is like my favorite song from Wild in the Country too. In My Way is like such an underrated Elvis song. Definitely one of my favorites. And so that's very special to me. Um, and then I have this uh, promo picture as well. And then under it, I have my one lobby card that I own in my collection. I have yet to buy like the full set. This one has definitely seen better days, but it's special to me because it's the only one that I have and I love it. Um, so I have that like hanging underneath. You can see the color difference, girl, like white and um, whatever color that is. But she's loved, which means she has a history. She has a story and I love that about her, but there she is. All right, my friends. So that's gonna be it for this little like updated memorabilia collection video. Um, not everything that I have, but just a few of like my favorite new pieces that I have out and displayed and that I bought this past uh, week at Elvis Week. I'm so excited to be able to share them with you guys. I know you've been wanting to see for a while and um, I'm sorry I haven't made like a memorabilia video in such a long time. Um, but just know that my collection's always growing and I'm always like so excited whenever I find a new piece. And sometimes I'll post it over on Instagram before it ever makes to YouTube. So um, if you're not following me over on Instagram, definitely give me a follow um, so you can stay up to date more with like daily posts and updates and things like that. And I have a memorabilia highlight over on my page over there. So memorabilia is a fun time. Listen, it's addicting, but it's so, so fun to get into that world of collecting and all that history and stuff and seeing how um, Elvis's legacy just continues to live on is really, really cool. Before I end this video, I did want to like shout out one of my favorite people in the whole world, but also, um, one of my, my favorite YouTube channels, um, content wise, Sophia Loves Elvis on YouTube. She's also Sophia Loves Elvis on Instagram, but she makes like, first of all, her collection of memorabilia, Elvis memorabilia is insane. And I have been watching her like, collect over the years since we've been friends and she finds like such neat pieces um and she's got like such a cool collection so if you guys are interested in Elvis memorabilia and you want to see more memorabilia videos I don't make them that often um but she is starting a whole series um I think it's called like a memorabilia moment or something really cute but she shows like pieces of her collection and gives like the backstory on them and like the history about them and variations and prices like literally everything and her content is just chef's kiss um so i wanted to like shout her out and say that if you're into these kind of videos and you want to see more like it um i might not do a ton of them but she definitely does so give her a follow go check out her content and um yeah, she's a really cool person. I'm sure you guys already know her, but her content is like amazing. So just wanted to give her some love. All right, my friends, that is all for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know uh, what your favorite piece was. Also, let me know if you guys have anything or like if you have any questions about collecting, let me know that as well. Comment down below. You can always message me. Um, but the world of collecting is so fun and I definitely want to see what other people have in their collections. So yeah, leave me a message, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And I will talk to you guys on my next video. All right, bye-bye.